Welcome back to episode two of fashion illustration drawings with not your teacher, but your fellow students. I am Karen Campbell. Uh, the whole point of these series of videos that I'm doing is to teach myself how to draw fashion drawings. And um, uh, my goal for all of these is to go from this <laughs> horrifying piece of work that we did last episode to this. Oh, this is my dream and that is my goal to make like whimsical, artsy, fancy, schmancy, awesome drawings. Okay, so that's the goal of this. Um, I'm amassing all of my resources. I bought a $100 textbook yesterday. I don't even want to talk about it. Um, but I'm like collecting all my resources and using Pinterest and books and online resources to teach myself how to draw and I hope you will be drawing with me. Yay! Let's go. Okay, I was actually all ready to dive in. <laughs> it's the same day. It's just an hour later after I just filmed that short little intro. Uh, my mind has been going a million miles an hour because I've been watching YouTube incessantly, looking at all my books, and um, I want to continue off after where we were from our first episode, but I just need to touch base really quickly. The purpose of this video for me is going to be to figure out which like style and which method for making a croquis is gonna be the one that I like best, the best, and that's easiest for me. So that's what I'm gonna be exploring. We already did the first <clears throat> method in the first episode, which is doing the one to the eight to 12 heads, I believe. I'll say I'm so new. Um, and I've been researching all the different ways that you can do this. So there's like this, there's like an S curve technique, which is similar to this. Actually, I watched the YouTube video that corresponds with this. I got this on Pinterest, but I actually watched this. Um, and if I can find that video, I'm pretty sure I actually added it to my fashion illustration, uh, illustration playlist, but I will, you can check out the my playlist on my YouTube channel because I'm collecting like all the good videos that I'm finding and I'm just throwing them in there for reference. So feel free to go to my channel and just, um, you can save the whole playlist just with a click a button. I'm going to throw all my videos in there. I'm not sure they qualify as being good enough to be with them, but I'm going to put them in there for easy reference anyways. And then like anything else I find that I like, I'm going to put in there. Um, this is kind of cool. This is like a stick figure, um, approach which um, I'm, I'm just all about less and more. So th less is more. So this is actually appeals to me quite a bit. There's this, there's a lot on this whole S curve, C curve technique, but I feel like that is one step beyond where we are even right now. Like I can't have anybody moving yet. Like I still don't even know how to make the girl when she's just standing like a mannequin, you know what I mean? So, I think we'll get there. This is actually, again, I got this on Pinterest, but it's from that exact book I was working from in episode one. Um, and so, but I do like how it shows how you go from the eight head to the 12 head, like the elongated fashion figure. So again, that's like one half step further where, we're, where we are right now. This is like a digital version where it's like, the torso is divided up into different guidelines and then the legs are just like, a tall drink of water. So, I don't know. <laughs> this one, I like also. This one is, and I don't know if it's because the lines aren't like continuing all the way across the page, but it seems l just a little bit less overwhelming <clears throat> to me. I So I like this one, the idea of that. And then this one I think we already saw. So, Again, I just wanted you to know there are a lot of ways of doing this. Somebody commented commented on the first episode that like I should do the traditional way. They like the traditional way. I'm actually not sure which one of those ways is the traditional way. So who, my commenter, um, and I'm sorry I don't have your name off the top of my head right now, but if you want to if you want to illuminate me, I am all ears. <laughs> just let us know. We're all students here. So um, <clears throat> if there's a way that you've tried and you liked. 
um, please let us know and we will do that. So I'm going to be going through one of these, these quickly, quickly, and then um, I'm going to pick the one that I like the best. And then we'll move on from there. Okay. Thanks for your patience, guys. Let's go. Uh, despite all of my books, and I flashed them all to you in the first episode, I think I have found the technique that's going to work for me. And I haven't even tried it, but I just know already. And it's my favorite because it seems to be the simplest. I, gotta, I, have, I have so many lights. I apologize for the sheen. I went online. This was, oh my gosh, probably six months ago. And I stumbled across this girl um, on Pinterest. It was one of, there was an image. And um, her name is Leica, I believe you pronounce it. Anyways, sewingnpatterns.com. Go to this website. I actually emailed her last night because I love her so much and I had to let her know that. Um, and I asked her for her blessing to post about her on YouTube and I have not heard back from her. But honestly, who wouldn't want to be raved about on YouTube? So I'm hoping she doesn't get mad, but I'm going ahead already because you guys have to know how awesome this thing is. She has a 30 day, she calls it fashion sketchbook challenge. But really what it is, is a 30 lessons that she'll, if you sign up for her email, she sends you a new lesson every day. And this thing is chock full of information. Now I printed this out, I'm not kidding, in May because it was before my art retreat to Scotland. And I just, because I'm doing this course, see I've been wanting to learn this stuff forever. And I finally <clears throat> printed out all the pages. This is not even, look at this content you guys. This is all, she's done all this work. She needs to publish it in a book because it's ridiculous. And this is probably only two thirds of it because the other one third was, she does this whole thing on Photoshop and it's unbelievable the content and it's completely free. So girlfriend, I'm sorry you didn't email me back, but I just had to tell the world you're, you are awesome. So, and I'm not sorry. So anyways, she has a method of drawing croquis that completely jives with me. Like I read it and she breaks it down in the best way. So this is, this is all her. And I want to make sure that she gets full credit for her awesomeness because I do think really this is awesome. <clears throat> so, I hope you don't mind me sharing this with everyone. And if you do, I will take this video down in a hot second because I am not here to offend anybody. I'm just here to share what I'm learning and how I'm learning it. Oh gosh, I lost my paper. Okay, I'm going to go hunt for that and be back. Okay, so I'm sorry. All right, so all these millions of guidelines and S-curve, look at this one. There's a lot going on with the S-curve and the hips and, and, and all these lines and the swishes and the freaky big people. It's freaking me out. So I'm, I gotta put that all aside. Like literally, I, I've been waiting a few days to do this video because I'm, I, I can't decide. I, first I was gonna do all of them and then I'm like, that's insane. We'll be here for like, a century as I draw each way over and over and you know what ain't nobody got time for that so I am choosing my favorite right off the bat which is this awesome this awesome girl she is a wealth of information you have to go check this out okay so I am following her amazing instructions and this is on days four's lesson and go to her website and get this you guys you will not regret it so she breaks the, cro the croquis down into much smaller bits. And she starts with the torso, which I appreciate because it gets overwhelming. And I'm going to be stupid and do it in Sharpie because it's just the only writing utensil that's next to me at the moment. And is that better? No. Okay, I'm going to switch my lighting so we don't have as many shadows. Okay. I My studio only has one window in it, so... I struggle. I struggle with lighting. I apologize. When I'm rich and famous, I will buy some lighting. <laughs> okay, so I'm. Um, she says start with. I'm gonna. So this is just the torso, and she recommends starting with. I think just three. One line down the middle. Look at me. I have a ruler. Ah! 
Things are crazy in my world if I'm actually using a ruler. Okay, and already that line's wrong. Now I regret that I should be using, <laughs> should be using a pencil. All right, one, she kind of breaks it up into one, two. Now these I'm eyeballing. Is this gonna throw you off in the middle? I'm sorry, I'll make these bigger. Okay, so I'm just dividing it into those areas. Oh, look at this. I have my white water-based Sharpie, which never leaves my side. So I'll wipe that out a little bit. Okay, then she says, step two, mark a point of two-thirds in between. Oh, wait. Oh, so this is my shoulder, and this is a hip, and this is a knee. And this is an ankle. Oh, I spelled ankle. ankle -cle. <laughs> Anyways, moving on. We don't need to discuss how dumb I am. I'm pretty sure everyone already knows. Okay, start to mark a point, blah, 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 blah. Mark a point two thirds in between the shoulder and the hip. Oh my God. It's like almost <laughs> exactly where the, the line is that I just marked off. That's funny. So that's, I'll just do like here. Okay, now comes the width. Shoulder line, that's this, and the hip line, which is this, are of the same width. Well, all right then. So I don't know how really how wide that is, but I'll just eyeball them the same. And which is equals to the length of the shoulder to the waist. Oh, this is the waist. What? <clears throat> the shoulder line and hip line are the same, which equals to the, like, the shoulder line and hip line are the same width. Do, 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 okay. Did you guys get that? Which is equals to the length of the shoulder to the waist. Oh, okay, so I'm gonna measure. So that's like, randomly is like 11 and a quarter. So this should also be 11 and a quarter. Okay, which it's a little bit wider because I'm doing it in pen like a total moron. Okay, I need to do this in pencil. Okay, sorry guys. I promised you that I, I told you honestly how this these videos were gonna work. Okay, so let's see, I'm gonna do boop, boop, boop. I'm doing the silver because I'm kind of a hot mess. And I'm trying, it's my first time. Okay, so I have my four sections. That's like about five, that's five and a half, that's five and a half. Not too shabby for my eyeballingness. All right, so I just scooted that one up. So, okay, so I have three in equal lengths. Okay, and again, this one is shoulder, hip, knee, and ankle. Okay, already I like this because it's only, you know, four lines and not the nine heads. <clears throat> I have more books coming to see if they can shed some light on this. All right, so the shoulder line and the hip line are the same width, which is equal to the length of the shoulder through the waist. All right, so we have our two-third mark was here, and this is going to be our waist. This is where I was really slow in getting. So two-thirds between the shoulder and the hip is our waist. And then this distance... She's saying is the same is gonna become the so that's what is this? So shoulder to waist is one and a half exactly. And then she's saying the shoulder line and hip line are also one and a half. So that's how wide they're gonna be. Dude, I am nailing this. Okay. It only took me five minutes to draw three lines. Whatever. Don't be judgy. Okay, boom, boom, boom. Okay, we can do this, you guys. We can do it. One and a half, one and a half. Boop, 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 boop. 
Okay, and then I'm gonna turn the page. Now she numbers all these little intersections, which I find very confusing, so I'm not gonna number them. I'm just gonna leave them. Okay, the waist width. You basically, okay, and then you, let's connect these lines. I'm gonna connect them. Should I use a ruler? Oh wait, do we know the width? The waist width, here we go, is equal to the length of the waist to the hip. Okay, so this waist to the hip, I'm gonna measure that. And that is three quarters of an inch, and that's the weight, that's the width of the waist. So I'm kind of like doing that. Okay, thank you for that piece of information. So, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna like color code this for myself. I'm gonna get like, um, so, cause I'm gonna color code this so I know which ones are equal. So this waist is equal to this. She's basically just told us, right? And so I'm gonna make that pink. Whatever is equal is gonna be the same color. And then these, oh crap. What else was those? Those are equal. The shoulder and hips are equal. And that was equal to this, wasn't it? Is that right? Yeah, one and three quarters, okay. So this is how I'm gonna help myself because that I'm not a numbers girl as many of you probably know, but I am a colors girl. So this helps me remember that all my blues are the same length and all my pinks are the same length. Okay, all right, next step. I need to join up. Oh, we need the boob line. Wait, what? Oh, the bust line comes in the middle of the shoulder and the waist. We can do this. And how big is that line? I think we'll just make it. Oh, I see what's gonna happen. You know, I'm gonna do the next lines. Um, I'm gonna join these up. Oh, maybe I'll just keep that pencil. All right, so we're gonna, these are all we need to join. Join forces here. And then the boob line goes in the middle. I'm so crass, I'm sorry, I should say, the bust line goes across the center. Sorry. Okay, so right in the middle, approximately. I feel better already, honestly. Although I feel like my waist and hip is like smaller than hers. Looks, see how hers looks? I wonder if I did something wrong. Hers looks rather elongated. I'll just show you. See how nice and long those hers is? And why mine is very short. Maybe because mine is just simply longer. <clears throat> Did I do something wrong? Or maybe these three are supposed to be the same. Alright, I'm gonna turn my camera off and review because I'm feeling like oh the shoulder and hip. Does this all go? And the waist is three two thirds. Oh, I think I did it right. I think so. Maybe, maybe, I don't know. I don't know what to say. I feel like mine is squat. But I feel like I follow direction. So I'm just gonna keep going even though I feel like it looks too narrow. Okay, here goes, here goes nothing. Extend the line, the top line, all the way up. From the zero, equals minus zero, minus nine. Equal to the length of this to this. Okay, so this is gonna be another blue line that's an inch and three quarters, right? Inch and three quarters, inch and three quarters. God, I hope this stuff starts coming more easily because I gotta tell ya, <laughs> this is rough. I'm gonna basically just, this is where I have no patience. I'm, I'm running out of patience. Okay, I'm gonna come up a little ways because this is gonna be the head. 
and I'm gonna draw a box. I know how tall it has to be, so I'm gonna put the top of the box there, and I'm gonna just make it smaller than the shoulders. That's about, I'm kind of running, I'm running out of patience for all the numbers in the math, I gotta tell ya. And that's, that's just my personality. So I'm gonna just make it smaller. Ha ha! And then I'm gonna make the neck smaller. <laughs> like half as much. I can't, I ran out of patience. There's a lot of numbers and joining and that looks good to me. Does that look good to you? Okay. There's that one and there's mine. Little robot friend. Okay, all right, I'm moving on. I feel good about my croquis. I hope you feel good. And then we like soften it up and she just rounds out the different shapes. So I'm, I'm good with that. I'm gonna grab another color pencil. Ah! I try not to yell, <laughs> yell so much. Okay, okay, and then here's where my laziness bites myself in the ass. So I just went and reread because I guesstimated the head, and she says that the width of the head equals this width right here. So I'm gonna make this like this is the same as the head here. So I'm gonna that which for me is three centimeters and mine is too skinny. So I have to actually make that. But the color, color coding is helping me actually a ton. So I highly re recommend, like I can, I'm gonna use this I think then as my reference sheet. Cause then I don't have to measure anything. I can just look and be like, oh yeah, those blues are the same and the pinks are the same, okay. I hope, well, let's see how it goes. All right, so now we're gonna soften this up. She has a nice oval, and if you're bad at ovals, I would, you can also do like a circle and then kind of bring it down here. <clears throat> so that's going to be her head, obviously. I hope that's obvious. And then it looks like the neck just gets, oh wait, I guess the next thing I'm going to do is maybe do her shoulder. So that these intersections... It looks like her sh shoulder reference circles is like just above the line. And then the neck, we're gonna kinda come here and connect. See, I feel better already though about like where to s put my swoopy lines because this box I could recreate again, I think. And then for her breast, we like swoop in to meet this one and that's so much less mortifying than those crazy circles thank you I'm in love with her book she published that shinizzle girlfriend <clears throat> okay and then we have the waist yeah and I still feel like that's wrong but Okay, and then I'm gonna ha I'm gonna hold off on arms for a second. I feel like no matter what croquis method you use, the arms always seem to go on last. I, I don't know why that is. It's just a trend I've noticed. Um, okay, so that was on day four. That's her lesson. And then if I skip to day seven, she talks about putting the croquis all together. She has a couple of different ways for um, drawing the legs, both of which are super helpful. And I like that she breaks down each day into like a different body part, so it's not all overwhelming. All right, I'm gonna just get drawing and shut up here. All right, so she's gonna give me two circles for the, I guess it would be the butt if it was on the other side, but the front of the leg, and that's like right on this line. I can handle that. And then we already have our knee line, so I don't know how far apart to make this, to be honest. Um, I'll just come out a little bit, I guess. And then she has smaller circles <clears throat> and then a bit bigger circle under it. And then fast forward down to the ankles. 
Again, there's a little line here. There's little circles. And then drop down, there's bigger circle ovals. Like that. And I just separated them by, like, t so they're kind of under this and coming together a little bit. I don't know if that's true or not, but that's what I'm going to do. So then the hips, and I love this, see, because your smaller circle, you come in, right, to join up to the circle. And then that calf, which is really hard to render for some reason, at least it is for me, you could kick out again, and then you go back towards the ankle. So out, back towards the ankle. And your crouch is then already naturally drawn. No, I think this is like a billion times easier than that hot mess I was drawing in episode one. So I'm very happy with this. This makes a lot more sense to me. It was a confusing at the beginning with all the lengths or whatnot, but I get it. And I'm glad I color coded that because that helps me make the next one. And then the kind of feet kind of do that. I'm just connecting up. Here we go. <clears throat> Look how quick and easy that was. That is way better. Okay, now arms. Um, what does she have going on for arms? She's a lot of extra. I'm kind of like streamlining this. There's a lot of like directionality with all this, which I'm not getting into. I'm just trying to keep this streamlined. For myself oh I do know that the waist I will say she has these in here depending on if your arm is bent or not so this is like the elbow line which she doesn't spell out but that's just what I'm guessing so let's see the elbow I do know from all these croaky madnesses is always at the waist so um, and then where's the, and then the, this line is the wrist. Okay, so the hip and the waist and the wrist are the same. And the waist and the elbow are the same. And I got that from um, my hours of study yesterday. Thank you very much. Now that I am an expert at this. <laughs> But I did learn something. You can teach yourself. Okay, so I'm gonna put a ball. I guess if I have this curved line, technically if I put a ball at where the elbow will be, wherever that is, it should read correctly, right? And then you have another ball. This is kind of fun. <laughs> it's not the whole point. If I put another ball down here, let's see if we can make arms that make sense. Ready? And you know what? All right, she didn't do this, but I'm just thinking of this right now. That forearm meatiness is the same kind of as like the calf. Like it gets, it narrows down. Well, at like a skinny person, it narrows down to the elbow. And then at the forearm and the calf, it like bulges back out again. I wonder if we didn't do, I'm getting ahead of myself, but I just couldn't resist thinking ahead a little bit. If the elbow pit is <laughs> small wouldn't that next part what is this called my tibia or I don't know ulna or something wouldn't this be a bigger circle just like the knees were two size circles wouldn't the elbows and that other one be two size all right I'm gonna shut up and draw we'll see if that works all right so here's the outside of the arm I don't know how you get the inside of the arm I kind of skipped ahead blah 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 Where's the arm page? Um. <clears throat> she has hands. She doesn't have an arm page, but I can deduce it. I think. Okay, oh wait, I'm getting ahead of myself. I guess I go to the little circle first. Oh, my phone. Shut up. And then this goes this way, right? But then wouldn't this go out? It does go out. I know it does. I know it. And then that's the wrist. And then I don't even know 
anything about hand. So I'm just going to go whoop. Like, oh, that's ridiculous. Stop laughing at me. Stop it. Don't, don't do it. We're all in this together. That is the worst looking hand and wrist combination I'm pretty sure that I've ever seen, but I'm moving on, I'm moving on. All right, and this one, I'm gonna go this way, and this looks, how can that be your wrist? Okay, that doesn't make sense. That can't be your wrist. Why is this arm extendo super giant, and then this one is all short? Something is not making sense. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. I think I need to just stick with, you know what? I wonder if it's because this is too short. Oh, no. Something not good is going on, and I don't know what it is. <laughs> okay, I have to turn my camera off and think and go look at some pictures. This this is wrong. This is either way too extendo arm or this is like gimpy short arm. So I need a minute. <laughs> I'll be right back. Okay, ironically, right next to me, like literally right next to me, this book was open to this page, which shows arms. <laughs> um, okay, so clearly this is the same book I was working on in episode one. I highly recommend this figure drawing for fashion design um, so as you can see in all these different mannequins yeah the arms and the waist they do really jive but I do have to say <clears throat> okay so the wrist in these looks way lower than what our friend is giving us so she was telling me it was like at the bottom of here it's actually like in the middle of the thigh and this was that awful croquis i drew the other day but again yeah the wrist is is dropped down quite a bit so oh i see and then this one which isn't is long is up so I guess it depends I don't know I'm gonna make it longer all right because this is not okay so if I make it longer and Lord help us all if this takes us this long I don't know if fashion drawing is for me but we'll see I do know a couple things though from just drawing let's see if we if we just make it longer does that make sense <laughs> Look at my hands. They're like, <laughs> I don't even know. I don't even know. It's like a spatula. That's terrible. Oh my God. I don't even I need help. Okay, that looks better. That looks better. I think I just needed to drop the wrist to, like to here. So hip and wrist. I'm going to say no for that. I don't know if that's like a thing. But I'm going to make it a new thing where it hit with wrist is down here. And I have all these things from Pinterest printed out. I should go look at that real quick too and see what they say. Blah, blah, blah. <clears throat> There's that very first reference guide. This is super fascinating. So here, look, it differs again. This is that ridiculously small book <clears throat> from that. Remember I said the, in the first episode I was going to do a little blurb on this book, but I've gone way sidetracked for that. But this is the little booklet that comes with that. And this one, these both have the wrist at the hip, just like our sketchbook friend. And so does this one, okay? With see the elbow at the waist. But then this croquis, the elbow, the wrist, see if her wrist, if the, her arm was straight, it, her wrist would be down here again. So honestly guys, I have no clue if that's like, in a, I don't know. I don't know why that is, but clearly it can differ. Oh, and here's that weird graph. This is like a digital croquis and look how long her, her wrist goes way down to the middle of her thigh. So maybe that's just personal preference. I don't know, but I like it long because that short one looked super weird to me. So I'm gonna go with the extendo arm <laughs> version of the croquis. Yep, I'm doing it.
you can't stop me. So I just think that looks better. Okay. Woo! Um, okay. Where to go next? Okay, so I was trying to think about honestly what I want to do, but I think um I want to do two things, and I don't necessarily mean to do them right now, but I want to make her look not like a robot, and I want to make like a, you know, fashion template. Like I go on Pinterest and I see these, so that's what I'm going to do now. And then I also want to practice drawing my croquis without being a fumbling idiot and taking like nine hours. So practice. And um, I think also I'm getting... Well, there's a couple good reminders uh, that I'm coming up with while I'm going through this. And one is just like a face. When you go to draw a face, you know how you kind of like just, you, you, when you're drawing, you forget, right? You forget that you're drawing a face. You just, I'm not, you know, you don't think about it. If they're happy or they're sad or where's my pen? I'm not thinking about if, if they're happy or sad or if they're ugly or pretty and you're just doing your guidelines, you're just, you know, I've drawn them so many times that it's like just therapeutic and I'm thinking about my grocery list and um, I'm thinking about what I want to talk about with my video later, right? So what's happening here? Well, one is I've drawn a face so many times that I have my my hand knows what to do and I have a lot of muscle memory um, built up, right? I've drawn an oval so many times and actually there's a danger when you draw things so many times all your faces and whatnot all start looking the same actually because <clears throat> your muscle memory is so good uh, you can't kind of unremember how to make things and you have to force yourself to, you know, branch out and try new things but um, so muscle memory is is one thing and so I know just from drawing other things that I need in order to build muscle memory for my croquis I need to I need to draw uh, all the time and so that will be she's got a seriously seriously pig nose happening right now um, so yeah muscle memory is like legit real and I know that for a fact. Um, so I will be practicing that and you guys should be practicing that too. And then the other thing I was going to say was like, I think what I need to do, what get better at is, not, is, and this goes for whatever you're drawing, not ever be like, you know, I am drawing the eye. The eyes are around. When you're drawing these shapes, you just are just right they're just shapes they're like drawing these squiggly squigglies and I'm I said oh her nose looks like a pig but that's because I didn't I'm not doing the shapes that I was trained to do right now um, and it's the same thing with the body I think we need to remember those lessons so when we're doing the long skinny arms you're not drawing arms you are drawing connecting lines and circles to create a body eventually but you don't think about the body until all your lines are complete i live and die by my light table if you don't have one i highly highly recommend getting one if you don't have one you can also use you can go up to a window and you know just put a piece of paper over the other one i love drawing on cardstock so in order for me to see through my cardstock i need to i really should do this in pencil um, the light table is just an awesome investment. I use it all the time. Where's my pencil? All right, I want to make a croquis that doesn't look stupid. And I want to do it right now. Um. Okay, so I'm going to just trace this. Oh, nuts. Oh, what does a girl have to do to get a good pencil around here? And this one is like too light. Ugh. Okay, so this, seriously. <laughs> what the heck? This is so light. Why are my pencils so light? Let's try 
Ryan need a drink. Okay. And this is tiny. Seriously. Here, there's a Copic. Multi-liner. Okay. Please look good. Please look good. Alright, I'm wicked nervous about her hand. The whole hand situation makes me very uncomfortable. And let's see. There seems to be like this, like the armpit. There's always like a cute little like boop right there. So I'm trying to make the boop. The pre-boop boop, I'm going to call that. Very official. Zoop. So let's see her waist. Goes here. I am so excited to see my cookie. Ooh. <clears throat> I'm just tracing along. You can use trace paper too. I don't know where the crotch is. I think it's supposed to be on the hip line, but I'm dropping it down. It looks a little high. Whoa. I guess I should just go ahead and zoom out a bit. Whoa. And there's always cute, like, knee dents. There's always cute little, like, slight indication of the knee. And I'm not really sure what they're supposed to look like. Whoa. Sorry, I don't know why I add unnecessary sound effects to my drawings. Whoa. Oh, I did it again? Stop, shut up. And then, I guess, yeah, I'm just doing that for the knee. Oh, nuts. Okay, she's got some big hips. Okay, and then this is like there, and then whoa. It's not even get me started on, oh my God, look at her. She looks like, it is like alien arms. All right, I mean hands. I need to figure out what's happening with the wrist because I am like wrist impaired. Okay, that's gonna be my goal for next time is figure out the wrist situation. It is not okay. And then I figure like there's like the palm of the hands. I don't I need to stop pretending like I know what I'm doing because I just don't. <laughs> Woohoo! Look at our alright, so she's got wide hips. I feel like her crotch needs to drop. Like she's got like saddlebags. <laughs> which I'm pretty sure is not desirable in the fashion world. But other than that, like, I feel like she looks all right, except for the saddlebags. Like, I wonder if I drop her crotch to here, does that work? Can I white out her privates? <laughs> does that work better? That does look better. I wonder if that has to do with her, this part being too short. Remember I was talking about that before. Anyways, I am not sad. I think she looks awesome for my first croquis. Thank you very much. And to Lucka at sewingandpatterns.com, you are the bomb and we love you very much. Um, yeah, all right guys. I feel like we're on to something very exciting. Okay, I think my next video I'm gonna, oh God, I'm torn between doing a three quarter in the profile or maybe we'll just make her perhaps a little sassy. Like I wanna try one of these different poses, just front, just for now. And there's a lot going on. A lot of people are talking about S curves and C curves and I need to do a little bit more investigating on that. But hey, this doesn't suck and I'm very excited about that. So um, go on awesomeartschool.com if you want like the these all these YouTube videos kind of in a row and nicely lined up. And I'm also going to make, I also have a playlist on my YouTube channel that I'm collecting. I'm dumping these videos into as well as other fashion illustration videos that I have um, found to be useful. I'm putting them all there together in a playlist that's just called fashion illustration so you can go do that for your convenience as well um you guys are the bomb for sticking with me for so long i seriously i'm excited about this journey 
in all of its ups and downs and alien hands. So thank you guys who are here with me and I, I want to see your work. I seriously want to. So go to Facebook and go to Awesome Art School with Karen Campbell and show me your work because you guys, this is wicked fun and I can't, to see, can't wait to see what else we're doing. If you don't want to miss any of these videos or any other videos, make sure you subscribe to my channel because then they'll come right to you every day or every week. I try to do one or two every week. Um, and if you know, I have a friend who's artsy and that it wants to get into drawing figures, um, you can share this video super easy um and if you like it you can give me a thumbs up as well so yeah in the meantime if you want to learn how to work on faces before we get drawing faces i'm going to do a shameless plug and whip out my whole how to draw fun fab faces series which all of which are available on amazon and in my etsy shop and the links in the description but um that's coming up next because you know this girl is gonna end up with a face you know so it'd be awesome if she looks as good as her um smoking hot body looks that's what i'm talking about even if her crotch isn't anatomically correct but good enough all right you guys have an awesome day and i will definitely see you again very very soon bye